Uh, before we begin, uh, I am Kennedy Kibetu. I am the technical engineer at uh, Jubaili Blue Solar, based here in East Africa. Uh, today we'll do an introduction as to who Jubaili Blue Solar is, and also introduce our new partners, Goodwin, and take you through the range of products that we have and that we'll be distributing and supplying to our EPC customers. For the first timers, um, we usually have uh, these weekly webinars where we go through um, different topics in um, the solar space, from uh, solar equipment to um, plant construction, and we can also do bespoke training um, as part of the requirements of our clients. And this we will go through as we go deeper into um, introducing ourselves. So um, Jubaili Bros Solar uh, is a division of Jubaili Bros and Jubaili Bros has been a leader in power, providing power solutions all around the world, um, mostly in Middle East and in Africa. Uh, the solar branch uh, or the solar division was started in 2017, as uh, you can see in the um, uh, details below. However, the company has been in operation since uh, 1977, starting in Lebanon, then went uh, into UAE in 1992, went into Nigeria in 96, um, Afghanistan in 2002, Kuwait uh, 2004, coming back to Africa into Ghana in 2010, um, continuing with expansion into UAE with Qatar in 2011, expanding further into Africa with Uganda in 2013 and South Africa in 2016. And then um, the solar division came in in 2017 and we've continued expanding. As you can see, we have uh, expanded into Pakistan, which was in 2020, opening up in Kenya in 2020 as well. And we've continued to um, expand our reach in more and more regions. Our aim is to provide our solar EPCs in all these countries and in these regions with leads, training, uh, engineering support, product supply, doing referral to finance and offering technical support um, in the solar and renewable energy space. As you can see, this is a global logistics reach of um, Jubaili Bro Solar. Every place you see a flag represents a country that has either our office, um, sister offices, our EPC partners, our solutions providers. And you can see that this are uh, those um, quite uh, difficult uh, logistical areas and you're guaranteed uh, with Dubai Libro Solar, you will have um, adequate reach uh, give, getting you products and services to your regions. We have um, these six pillars that we use to support our EPC customers. Uh, we do product supply from our distributors and uh, suppliers. We offer products to our EPC uh, clients. Um, this is in the form of um, um, solar panels with our panel uh, partners, inverters with our uh, invert invertner partners. We also have our own Dubai Libros uh, products. And so you're guaranteed that um, wherever the region you're in, we are able to provide and supply products to you. We do offer training. Um, we have these weekly uh, webinars where we go through different topics and we can also do um, bespoke uh, trainings as per our EPC uh, requests. We can offer bespoke um, trainings on a number of topics, be it uh, solar design, uh, product selection, um, and in this way, we can help you optimize your levelized cost of electricity and make sure that you are um, you have the best um, products and the best project for your customers. We offer engineering support, where we have engineers um, specialized in design, in installation, in O and M, and we are available to support our EPC clients uh, in each and every part of um, the project life cycle from uh, initial feasibility study, going into design and installation support, um, commissioning support, and also after sales support. We do offer leads um, through a vast connection that we have in the market. 
Uh, we have uh, partners uh, in different regions, APC partners in different regions where we can connect them to their end consumers or their end clients. And in this partnership, we are able to foster a good relationship from the beginning, very beginning of the project to the very end. We do offer referral to finance. We have partners, financing partners who we can contact, co connect our EPC uh, clients with. This way, the APCs are able to find the best um, financing solutions for their projects and for their end customers as well. Then we have after sales support, uh, where we have engineers who can assist with site support, uh, commissioning of the solar systems, after sales maintenance, as well as warranty support. So with these six pillars, you are guaranteed that you have um, the very best from the very beginning of your project till the operational um, side of the project. And we are able to support um, our EPC customers throughout. Now we'll go into who Goodwe is and um, introduce the products that um, they have. So this is, um, will be the content of our webinar today, where we'll do an introduction um, into Goodwe. Then we'll go through their residential inverters, their C and I and utility scale inverters, um, energy storage products, as well as uh, monitoring and communication. So this um, map shows the global presence of uh, Goodwe. Goodwe has a number of subsidiaries in Germany, Netherlands, the UK, um, South Korea, Japan, and uh, is shown through um, uh, this map, the representative, uh, representative countries where um, the R&D centers are, the production facilities are. And Goodwe has 4,000 plus employees with 700 plus uh, engineers being in R&D. There are 100 uh, plus outside of China and they have a production capacity of 30, plus gigawatts. That is an enormous amount of, um, of capacity. So uh, regardless of the size of um, project that you have, you are guaranteed that Goodwe has the capacity to produce for that. And these are the awards that uh, they've been able to win. Um, the Red Dot Design Award in 2018, we have the top brand for five consecutive years from 2017 to 2021. Um, we've continued to have, be the sole inverter brand to have won um, this, the TUV awards from 2015 to 2020. So this, um, all these awards show you how, um, how great uh, good we have is and the, the brand that they are and um, the scale at which um, they are able to um, support, provide products and services. And in 2021, they were in the world's top three um, storage inverter suppliers. So the products that they have, the services that they have, you are guaranteed that you are um, working with a great brand that has a great uh, list of products and services. Um, going into the after sales um, services of Goodwe, um, you can see all the countries that are represented here and the type of support that uh, is offered at each level. So in local technical hotline, um, there is availability in most regions, technical support in local languages in all regions, local warranty support. Um, on-site technical support, uh, repair services for string inverters. So regardless of the country, um, the region under which um, your warranty is or your pro uh, product uh, distribution or supply is, um, you are guaranteed that there is a local presence to help you with your after sales um, uh, inquiries and requests. <coughs> So we'll go into the uh, product portfolio and from this small 
uh, or from this image, you can see um, the solutions that Goodwe has from the very small residential of um, 0 0.7 kilowatts up to utility scale um, 250 kilowatt uh, inverters. And we look at each category and look at the products that are in each of these categories. This is um, what we'd call a cheat sheet showing you the residentials, the CNI, and the utility scale, and uh, the type of uh, equipment that is under each. So we have here the residential, the 0 0.7 to 25 kilowatts, and we have the single phase and the three phase. Under the residential, we have um, these different products, the XS Plus, the DNS, we have the SDG2, um, for the PV inverters, for the hybrid inverters, we have the different um, product ranges, both in the single phase and in the three phase. For the CNI and utility, we also have the different um, product ranges, and we'll go through each of these segments um, as we go deeper into today's webinar, and also um, consecutively as we do um, a deep dive into each and every segment separately. We'll be able to go through uh, the residentials in their own uh, webinar, we'll go through the C&I, and then from there we'll go into uh, plant construction, how uh, the Goodwill inverters are integrated into um, the solar power plants. So um, stay tuned for more and more upcoming webinars as we dive deeper into each of these segments. Now we'll go into the residential inverters. <clears throat> so before we, um, we go further into the webinar, there are these three categories of um, products and solutions. We have the string inverters, and these are grid tied inverters. We have the residentials from 0 0.7 to 15 kilowatts. We have the C&I from 17 to 136 kilowatts, and you have the utility scale, the 250 kilowatt inverter. Then you have the storage inverters or hybrid inverters. Where we have the 3 to 50 kilowatt hybrid and the 3 to 50 kilowatt AC coupled inverters. Then you have uh, battery storage. Uh, we have um, low voltage and high voltage uh, battery solutions, as well as all-in-one um, storage solutions. Now we'll go into the residentials, uh, the 0 0.7 to 15 kilowatt range. So we have these three different um, categories of the or rather different product ranges of the residential inverters. You have the XS Plus um, series. This is a single phase inverter from uh, 0 0.7 to 3 kilowatts. We have the DNS series. This is another single phase inverter um, from three to six kilowatt. And then we have the SD2 G2 series. Um, this is a three phase inverter uh, from four to 15 kilowatts. And with all this, uh, we have uh, one MPPT for the XS plus um, two MPPTs for the DNS and two MPPTs as well for the SDT G2 series. You can see the efficiencies above 97%. They are lightweight um, for the small uh, residential single phase being 5.8. Um, for the medium, what we'd consider medium residential, the 13 kgs and um, 18 kgs for the three phase inverter. Um, this information is available on um, the data sheets of these inverters. So um, if you would want to look into uh, the details of each and every inverter, then kindly feel free to download um, the data sheets from the Goodwe website. From this, uh, you can see details about the cooling, where it's natural convention. Uh, however, for the three phase, uh, from the four to six kilowatt uh, inverter, it's nat uh, natural convection. And uh, for the eight uh, kilowatt and above, we have uh, fan cooled. Communication is Wi Fi for the single phase uh, access. We have um, Wi Fi and RS485 for the DNS, as well as um, for the SDG2 series. 
both have uh, or uh, all three categories have an IP65 protection rating and they come with type two or type three um, surge protection devices. So what are the, some of the features of the residential inverters? You can have up to 100% uh, DC oversizing. This means that you can increase the overall yields of your um, solar plant. This graph shows the DC energy produced uh, against the time of day. So a high DC AC ratio as is shown with um, uh, this curve um, we, you will have a higher yield as compared to a low DC AC ratio. One of the, uh, the optimum DC AC ratio that we recommend is between 1.2 and um, 1.3. That is the oversizing factor that um, we recommend for oversizing the DC. So with oversizing, the modules um, can reach uh, can generate higher yields because you have uh, a bigger range that the PV modules are generating at, meaning that your inverter can also take in uh, more power. And this is suitable for areas that have um, tricky uh, orientations or the azimuth angles are not optimal. Again, um, due to the high um, DC AC ratio and uh, the low startup voltage of the inverters, you have an increased yield during the very early mornings and the very um, late evenings. And this is due to um, the low startup voltage. You do not, the Goodwill inverters do not require um, a high voltage to start up, meaning that as soon as um, the panels are generating energy in the very um, early mornings, the inverter is able to come online and start um, supplying power. Same case with late in the evenings, um, the inverters can continue supplying power due to the low um, voltage that they can take in. So with a high efficiency of up to 98.6%, you can have an increased yield as compared to other brands. Um, they have a fanless design. This is um, a major feature, especially for residential inverters, because in most cases, um, people will install uh, residential inverters inside the house and you want um, an, a device or equipment that will be uh, very uh, minimal in terms of uh, producing noise. So we um, Without having a fan in its design, then you are guaranteed that you'll have a very um, quiet operating device. So this is why um, the fanless design comes in. They also have a very um, compact, compact design. This uh, is an advantage when it comes to installation. So um, we have um, an example, uh, a common three kilowatt single phase uh, one MPPT inverter uh, with a weight of around 5.8 kgs and a volume of 7.7 .7 liters compared to uh, other similar capacity inverters. You can see the size of the Goodwill inverter is around um, the size of an A4 paper. So you have a lightweight, um, compact design that makes uh, installation easy and convenient. These are other features of um, the on-grid inverters. So you do not have any removable panels, meaning every connection is done at the bottom of the inverter. You do not have to remove um, any panels. You do not have to unscrew anything. So connection of uh, PV cables AC cables is easy. You have dual MPPTs, uh, multiple in, uh, inputs per MPPT for larger inverters. So this here shows um, the multiple uh, or the dual MPPTs with the number of inputs uh, for each 
range of um, capacities. So for the 10, 4 to 10 kilowatts, you can see PV1 and PV2. Um, the different uh, inputs, the 12 to 15 um, kilowatts, again, PV1 and PV2 with PV2 having multiple inputs. Um, and the same with um, the higher capacity inverters. Then, <coughs> excuse me, with um, the use of the solar go up, with or without the LCD screen, you can view the inverter parameters on your phone. This makes commissioning O and N easy because you don't have to go to the inverter to look at the information. That information is readily available on your phone. So these are the communication devices um, available for the residential inverters. Here we have um, two different scenarios when doing multiple units. In this case, when using the SDT G2 series and when you're doing an installation with a single unit. So for the multiple units, you can see the connection is via RS485 when you're doing the um, the daisy chaining, and then you connect to the Easy Logger Pro. This is the communication device, and from this, um, a LAN connection to the router, as well as a smart meter for power monitoring and control. When you're doing um, single units, internet communication is via Wi-Fi or LAN or 4G or uh, Bluetooth. This is via uh, dongle. For load monitoring and power export, we have the home kit. We have the home kit 1000 and the home kit um, 3000. For power export, we have the smart meter and we have the different um, categories of smart meters. We have the GM1000, um, GM3000, GM the 3000C and the 1000D. So these are the communication devices that are required for multiple unit connections and single unit connections. And with this, you have uh, power monitoring um, uh, and as well as uh, power export control. So this is an overview of the residential um, inverters. We have an, a high efficiency, uh, more power, less heat, flexible design due to the multiple MPPTs. Um, we have uh, export control um, simply with the CTs and smart meter, easy installation because of their lightweight and uh, compact design. They are reliable because of the high temperature range uh, operation as well as the IP65 protection. They are quiet due to the fanless design and we have the SEMS portal, which is the free monitoring platform. And we'll have a look at the SEMS portal later on in the webinar. Next, we look at the CNDI and uh, utility scale inverters. So for the CNDI and utility scale, they fall under the string inverters. The string inverters are all um, grid tied inverters. And for the C and I range, we have the 17 to 136 kilowatt range. So for the C and I, we have the SDG2 series. Um, we had seen some of this uh, in the residential uh, side. We have the SMT series uh, as well as the SMT plus, and then we have the HT series. Uh, all these are three phase uh, inverters with the SGD, uh, SDG2 with 4 to 20, SMT 20 to 60 kilowatt, and the HT the 100 to 120 kilowatt. All their AC output voltages are 400 volts. They have an MPPT range, or MPPTs 2 um, to 12, depending on the size of the inverter. Um, they are compatible with high current uh, PV modules. We've seen a lot of uh, PV module manufacturers coming up with um, modules that are uh, high power rated, 600 watt plus. And with this high power rating, um, they also produce a very high current. And it is um, worth noting that uh, the CNDI inverters 
are able are, are compatible with those um, high current modules. Standard communication is via RS-485 or uh, Wi-Fi with an option of either LAN uh, or uh, PLC power line communication. They are all, all they are IP65 rated for the SDT and the SMT series, and the HT is IP66 rated. They come with uh, type two and type three uh, SPD devices, and they have optional PID recovery functions as well as um, AFCI. So in situations where you want to have arc fault circuit interrupter, interrupters, as well as a uh, potential induced degradation recovery, you can have those options um, put in into the inverters. For the utility scale, we have the HD series, uh, the 250 um, kilowatt inverter range. The output voltage uh, for these inverters is 800 volts. And due to this high output voltage range, they will need um, a transformer station uh, for power evacuation. They have a um, number of DC inputs, um, 24, for the 250K and 18 for the 250KN. A maximum efficiency of 99% for both. Um, <clears throat> and um, communication is either via RS-485, PLC, and Bluetooth for the two inverters. They both come with a type two and yeah, type two for both AC and DC, uh, SPD and they have optional uh, PID recovery as well as reactive power compensation. Again, for uh, more information on um, the specific inverters, you can get the data sheets from uh, Goodwill. Also further, um, as we go into uh, detail on each and every, on each um, segment of inverters, we'll be able to give you more and more information. So what are some of the features of the CNDI and um, utility skill uh, inverters? You have MPPT op uh, optimization um, with up to 12 MPPTs, um, the HT series inverters significantly reduce PV array losses. And here we can see some of the scenarios where we have um, that bring about the PV array losses. We have hotspots on the PV panels we have different tilts and azimuth angles. This is due to the orientation of the PV panels. We have shattered PV panels, um, dirt on the panels, shading on some of the panels and panel mismatch. So having different, or rather having a higher number of uh, MPPTs, you can mitigate some of these um, uh, issues. Uh, because of the multiple number of inputs that you can utilize. So you can also increase the yield of your inverter by having multiple MPPTs. Then you can have more AC power. Here we have a block diagram showing the connection uh, of a utility scale um, system. We have uh, 1.5 megawatt of uh, DC coming into a one megawatt uh, Goodwe CNDI or utility scale inverter. So from the inverter, the Goodwe inverter, you will get up to 1.1 megawatt AC output. However, um, a similar one megawatt uh, inverter sizing from other brands will only get the one megawatt. So you have more AC power coming out uh, from the good inverters is usually uh, up to 10% uh, increased yield, AC yield from the inverters. Uh, PRD recovery that uh, I mentioned um, before. And PID potential induced degradation is due to the humidity and high potential difference of the modules. So this um, uh, makes the, the silicon, the silicon 
uh, material that the panel is made uh, from lose charge, uh, which leads to accelerating aging um, of the modules. And due to this PID, potentially induced uh, degradation, the generation from your PV panels uh, reduces significantly. So to mitigate this, um, at night, the polarity is reversed um, on the strings, and this is due to the anti-PID feature of the inverter. So the inverter will produce a, a reverse polarity back into the PV modules, and this will negate the effects of PID. And this is what the anti-PID um, solution offers in the inverters. <clears throat> Um, this is just looking further into PID recovery. Um, since the PID recovery module is built in into the inverter, you do not have or do you, you do not need uh, an external PID box as compared to other brands. Um, for the Goodwe inverters, this solution is integrated into the inverter itself, meaning that uh, you do not have to do the to have an extra expense of getting the PI anti PID box for your system. Um, next is the AFCI arc fault circuit interrupt interrupter, and this protects against damage from um, arc interfaces that happen uh, within the connections of the um, uh, DC cables either at the, at the MC4 connectors or inside the cable itself. So what um, this will do is the inverter will continually um, study the connections, trying to um, find where the arc faults are and repair them during the lifetime of the, of the, um, of the project. Another feature we had seen is the high temperature adaptability. Where we have good inverters that can operate at um, high temperatures, um, and this is an advantage uh, when doing installations in those very either very hot areas or very cold areas. Uh, with a directing threshold of a uh, value of 45 degrees for the CNDI portfolio, you can get higher yields in mild and hot areas. So this again um, gives you the benefit of uh, better yields, better generation at whatever region that you are in. <clears throat> These are the communication devices for the CNDI and utility scale inverters. Um, when you're doing multiple um, connections, you can use the RS485 that connects to the SEC 1000 and this can connect up to 60 inverters. Then we have the, that was the RS485 uh, option. We have the PLC, power line communication, where the AC line also uh, functions as the communication as well. And this is shown here when you're doing multiple um, units, the AC line going into a transformer and then we have the SCB3000, and this can connect up to 40 inverters. And then when doing single units, we have uh, Wi-Fi, LAN, 4G, or Bluetooth via a dongle. And then for load monitoring and power export, we have the SCC1000. And since this is just an introduction to the products, uh, we'll go deeper as we go into um, the different categories in subsequent webinars. So this uh, the, um, is an overview of the features of the CNDI and uh, utility scale inverters. You have high efficiency, uh, a robust design due to the low weight and volume, meaning that you have um, an easier time during installation. Um, higher yields, uh, full power operation up to 45 degrees or even 50 degrees. Uh, up to 10% extra AC power, that is 10% above the nominal power of the inverter. Uh, reliable due to the high temperature range as well as IP65 protection. 
We have flex flexible communication options, uh, either through Wi-Fi, RS-485, uh, PLC, LAN, and 4G. And then uh, with SEMS, we have the free monitoring platform. Then next, we look at the energy storage products. And for the storage products, we have now the storage or hybrid inverters, as well as the, as the battery storage. So for the hybrid series, uh, the residential uh, segment, we have the EM series, the ES series, and the ESA series. All these are single phase um, hybrid products. And then, uh, we also have the EH plus series, another single phase, but high voltage. And then we have the ET series, a three phase high voltage. Um, MPPTs uh, between one and two. Uh, uh, we have natural uh, convection as the cooling technology for all the inverters. And they have an IP rating of um, 65 for the EM series and ES. 54 for the ESA, and then 66 for both the EH and the ET. Standard features include Wi-Fi communication, app-based commissioning via the app, uh, less than 10 millisecond backup transfer time. And they have LED displays and you can use the smart meter for power control. AC coupled um, retrofit series for the residentials. We have the SB, SBP G2 series, a single phase uh, low voltage, um, another BH series, single volt high voltage, and the BT series, um, three phase high voltage. The battery type is the lithium ion uh, battery, uh, backup power, of six kilowatt for both the SBP and the BH, six kilowatt and then 10 kilowatt for the BT series. And they have an IP rating of between 65 and 66. Standard features also include Wi Fi communication, uh, current battery communication, uh, less than 10 millisecond backup transfer time also have an LED display and smart meter for power control. So these are um, solutions that uh, work hand in hand with uh, battery storage. <clears throat> we have the hybrid and retrofit series uh, for the C and I, where we have the ET um, three phase high voltage, ETC three phase high voltage as well and the BTC, which is a retrofit. Um, we have the AC output of between 50, 15 uh, to 50 kilowatt. Um, there has been a lot of, um, uh, rather has been in the C and I range, uh, people have been asking for storage solutions uh, in the medium, medium scale uh, C and I. And um, it's a good thing that uh, we have a partner who is providing solutions, especially for storage and hybrid solutions in the up to 50 kilowatt uh, range. So for people who've been asking for C&I and I, uh, storage and hybrid solutions, um, Goodwe has you covered. So what are some of the features of the um, the hybrid uh, solutions. We have an ambient temperature range of uh, between negative 25 um, all the way to 60 degrees. Uh, an operating range uh, temperature range of uh, 45 degrees during full load operations. Uh, IP65 rated, meaning uh, rated against humidity and dust. Operating altitude of up to 4,000 meters. So um, that those are very high altitude areas and you are guaranteed that your inverter will continue operating at such um, uh, areas. And they also have a fanless um, cooling.
Another feature is the easy installation where all components um, with pre-wired cables are provided, meaning you do not have to fiddle with a lot of uh, wires and, and screws to do the connections. This shows <coughs> all the terminals and um, equipment that is required, uh, the wall-mounted brackets, the PV plug, both positive and negative, and everything that is required for easy installation. Um, Pre-wired communication cables um, help with uh, quick installation and commissioning. What are some of the um, application areas for the energy storage uh, products? We have uh, new hybrid installations where we have the PV panels, the inverter and storage um, supplying the load. We have new battery installation where you can have um, bring in uh, a solution to supply from the battery. You can add to existing installations. So you can see we have um, an existing installation here and then you can bring in the hybrid um, solution. Then you can add a battery to an existing installation. So you have the existing ins um, installation here, then you can bring in um, the hybrid solution. <clears throat> So one of the features uh, of the um, energy storage solutions is the pr prioritization of self-consumption. Where you can have, we have two scenarios here, uh, PV supply priority and load consumption priority. So number one, PV supply, and the PV supplies the loads first, then charges the batteries and then uh, goes to the grid in areas where the grid, you are allowed to export to the grid. Then load consumption priority, you um, supply uh, PV first, then the loads are supplied by the battery. And then you have the option of selling to the grid um, if that is available in your region. So self-consumption, um, first priority and then now the next is to charge the battery and grid export. <clears throat> Another feature is battery capacity reservation where you can set different um, depth of discharge levels for backup and uh, normal operations. So depending on um, how you use your energy, you can determine how much you want the battery to charge and to discharge. So that having that flexibility um, goes um, quite in handy in terms of uh, monitoring your usage. And a very big advantage that Goodwe has is the number of batteries that are compatible with their systems. So we have the Goodwe batteries, the BYD batteries, Pylon Tech, LG batteries, Soluna, Alpha ESS, Dynes, and I'm sure there are more and more uh, battery manufacturers that are coming on board. So you can call, uh, download or check out the complete list uh, of uh, compatible batteries uh, from Goodwill's uh, website. Um, some of the advantages of the Goodwe uh, storage inverters, flexible applications are possible. We had looked at that earlier. Advanced emergency power function um, due to the very short uh, backup switch times. You have simple sector coupling, AC or DC coupling, and then you have quick installations because all the components are included. Then we look at uh, battery storage, both low voltage and high battery, uh, high voltage battery solutions. <clears throat> we have um, the different um, types of uh, battery solutions, all being lithium battery chemistries. We have the Link C, 
which is a one, 101 to 156 kilowatt hour uh, battery solution, high voltage CNDI battery solution. We have the Lynx Home F Plus, uh, which is a residential solution with 6.6 .6 to 16.4 kilowatt hours per tower. And then we have the Lynx Home U, uh, low voltage uh, residential battery solution. And some of the features include automatic module detection, um, remote control, uh, auto restart, uh, triggered by the inverter. They are outdoor rated uh, since they are IP55 and IP65 rated. Safe and reliable lithium ion phosphate um, batteries and they are simple to install. The first product we look at is the uh, Lynx Home F um, and the Home F Plus. And we have a wide range of uh, energy from 6.6 .6 kilowatt hours all the way to 16.4 kilowatt hours. It is compatible with the EH, BH, um, ET, BT, as well as the ET30 um, hybrid inverters. Communication is via the inverter. It is suitable for outdoor installations uh, since it's IP55 rated. Um, charging is between zero and 50 degrees Celsius and discharging from negative 20 to 50 degrees. Um, and then the ba battery chemistry is lithium ion phosphate uh, that have a 10 year warranty. So with this, you can see the different, um, uh, the different categories how you can configure your um, storage. So you can have two, three, four, or five modules, and this will give you from 6.6 .6, um, to 16.4 kilowatt hours. And with that also the voltage can vary from 182 all the way to 576 volts. And this is the structure of the battery with the different uh, battery modules. This is a Lynx Home U solution with a volta, uh, energy range of between 5.4 and 32.4 kilowatt hours. It is also compatible with the ES, EM, and SBP inverters, hybrid inverters. Communication is via the inverter. It is outdoor um, rated since it's IP55, um, just like the Lynx Home Plus. Um, charging is between 0 to 50 degrees and discharging is negative 20 to 50 degrees. It also has um, the lithium ion phosphate battery cells, which gives it a warranty of 10 years. And it's also slim, it's a slim design as can be shown by the dimensions. <clears throat> then we have the Link C. This is a C and I uh, storage solution. We can have different categories uh, depending on how it has been configured from one, 101 <clears throat> to 156 kilowatt hours. And this is the structure of um, the Link C battery. <coughs> Here we have the cabinet, uh, what is seen outside. And then we have the battery modules with the power control uh, unit at the bottom. And at the bottom of the cabinet, we have the slots for the forklift. <clears throat> so depending on the battery model, we can have uh, 11, 13, 15, or 17 battery modules. And with that, um, the nominal power can be from 42.2 to 65.3 <clears throat> kilowatts. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, we look at the <coughs> monitoring and communication devices. We have the Easy Logger Pro, which can connect up to 60 um, on grid inverters. It is not compatible with storage inverters. So, this is for purely uh, grid tied um, solutions. Communication with um, ripple control receiver, monitoring is via the service portal 
It can have mode bus RTU communication protocol, feeding limitation um, of several inverters can be achieved with an additional GM3000 device. RS485 communication uh, up to 1000 meters distance. And it has a low power consumption of average um, three watts with a maximum of six watts. <clears throat> then we have the SCC100. This is uh, recommended for um, comprehensive solutions. So it has the Easy Logger Pro, a smart meter, and an AC disconnect switch integrated into one IP65 rated enclosure. So this includes um, the device that we had seen before, the Easy Logger Pro. Um, monitoring and connection to uh, ripple control receivers for up to 60 inverters. So up to 60 inverters can use this one um, SEC 1000. It can offer communication, consumption vis visualization on the same spot on, and um, it, you can freely select the CTs um, of up to five amperes. And so it is suitable for installation with high line um, cross sections uh, for feeding limitation as well as consumption uh, visual visualization. And then it has a direct 230 volt uh, power supply. <clears throat> this is the SEMS portal. Um, it's what is used for uh, uh, data visualization as well as um, monitoring. So you can have an overview of the installed plants. Um, it is easy to find errors in any of the plants and you can check generation for specific plants as well as get um, the total <coughs> generation. You can check out um, the SEMS demo version from uh, Goodwiz, from Goodwiz uh, website. Going into the specific plant, you can see um, the system overview. You can see the weather forecast uh, for that um, site. You can have a look at the linked devices as well as the device information. Also on that um, portal, when, look at the, when looking at the specific plant, <coughs> plant you can see the latest uh, measured power and then the accumulated data from that plant. Then on the system graphs, you can see generation, you can see the loads, export if you're exporting power to the grid you can also see import and uh, a lot more information on the advanced graphs you can see the power current voltage frequency and any other information that you would <coughs> you want to get from your power plant again on the detailed graphs you can get um, graphs for each um, string that is connected. You can get the temperature readings if you have, um, if you have uh, a weather station connected. Here you can see, you can get MPPT level data as well as string level data. With the integrated weather stations, you can get uh, weather data for the site where your project has been installed. And from this, um, you can have uh, irradiation data, temperature data, um, module temperature, wind speeds, and wind direction as well. <clears throat> Some of the additional features uh, on the SEMS portal, um, the smart energy management system, you can get alarms, um, email notifications for any errors that occur uh, on the plant. You can export data to Excel for data analysis. You can manage uh, organizational accounts and you can have a geographical overview of where your uh, power plants are. Um, that's the end of um, the product introduction. We'll go deeper into each segment with the residential, the CNDI, and the hybrid solutions. So as Jub uh, Jubaili, 
we are committed to offering a comprehensive after sales support. We are available um, to take queries to assist our EPC clients with whatever information that they need. <clears throat> we have data sheets um, for all the products and solutions that uh, we supply and we can give user manuals, um, installation guides, technical specifications, um, manufacturers letters of uh, authorization and such for each product that we supply. We do seminars, webinars and trainings like this one. And if you have specific topics that you would want us to cover, kindly reach out to us and we'll be able to arrange something um, for that. We are easy to reach. Uh, we have local representatives available on phone uh, via WhatsApp or email, and we'll be able to assist you in the best way that we can. <clears throat> we have the Jubaili Bros Knowledge Center. Uh, our website has a ton of information and resources that will help you um, get more information with regards to renewable energy as well as the products and solutions that um, we offer. Then we have YouTube videos. We have uh, the Bailey Bros Solar YouTube channel as well as Goodwe have their YouTube channel as also the Solar Academy where you can get uh, more information, training videos, installation guides, um, troubleshooting, and a whole a host of other information um, that you can have access to. Thank you very much. Uh, that was our first. Uh, webinar introducing um, Goodwe um, to our clients and customers. Apologies um, <clears throat> for my voice and the coughing. I am still not yet fully recovered, but I am on my way there. Now we look at um, some of the questions that you have and uh, feel free to ask more questions as we proceed. <clears throat> Um, is it possible to get presentation documents after the training? Yes, um, the presentation will be sent to the email that you used um, to register for the webinar. <clears throat> is the Wi-Fi built in or through an external dongle? Um, you will get an external dongle that will enable communication via Wi-Fi. <clears throat> For the 25 kilowatt inverter with six inputs within the same MPPT, does it contain fuses? Um, it does not. However, when we go deeper into uh, each segment, we'll have a look at um, the specific um, inverters and go deeper into their, um, their structure, their design, and their operating modes. How many inverters can be connected to one is easy logger pro you can connect up to 60 inverters <clears throat> to one easy logger for self-consumption does the monitoring portal have the ability to provide you with the lost energy due to limit on um, zero export uh, systems um, for this i will have to um, to look further into this as we prepare the upcoming webinars. So be on the lookout, I will be able to provide um, more of this uh, in subsequent webinars. <clears throat> um, someone here has asked a question, although they have not marked it as a question. Do you offer practical trainings on your products? Um, yes. Uh, Depending on where you're based, we can offer practical training together with our Goodwe partners in those regions. So reach out to us, and we can arrange um, we can arrange uh, a practical training session. However, for um, anyone in Nairobi, we have one coming up uh, in the next uh, couple of weeks. 
So be on the lookout for that, and we'll be able to um, can be able to exp uh, to do a more hands-on training um, session. <clears throat> What is the warranty for residential and CNDI inverters? Um, depending on the region, um, the inverters warranty we come with a warranty of uh, five years. Do you offer extended warranty on the residential systems? Um, extensions uh, can be done. However, this is um, will be dependent on. Um, on I think the time frame. However, let me let me get back to you on this. Um, someone is asking to share the recordings. Yes, um, the recording will be available and it can it will be uploaded onto YouTube uh, where you'll be able to follow um, closely. <coughs> Um, which brand of inverters do you use in your CNDI applications? Today we were uh, introducing Goodwe inverters, and um, that is a range that we are focusing on, from the residential all the way to all the way to the utility scale uh, products. 